Alright, hello everyone. Hope everyone's having a great week so far. We're at the midway point, getting closer to the weekend. And I've been I've been watching one of my teenage year uh in my teenage years, I really loved this band Loverboy and that song Working for the Weekend. And I've been listening to that several times today. So, hope you all are getting ready for the upcoming weekend. Hope everything is going well for you. You know, I've been, of late, extolling my love and adoration for the Franken window manager. And I do still love it. Fantastic little window manager. It does have a few little glitches. You may have noticed in probably my last video when I opened up a couple of windows it looked really glitchy behind the window right before it opened up so there's something about Franken that is having I don't know if it's my graphics or I don't know if it's Franken I haven't really looked into it too much but there's something about how it draws the windows <clears throat> now I can live with it, it doesn't bother me but also, I've kind of been exploring other tiling window managers, and I think I may have found one that might possibly sway me away from Franken. And this is called Wonderland <laughs> Wonderland Window Manager. And let me go to the website. I've already got it pulled up. WM for window manager Derland and he does say that it's pronounced Wonderland <laughs> and it is really really nice I I mean what little I've only been using this now I've probably been using it less than 45 minutes it I <clears throat> I installed it just a little while ago and so I haven't done much uh, configuring on it it says it's a minimal i3 gaps or i3 I'm sorry an i3 like config easy to use and he is not kidding very easy <laughs> and it is like uh, uh, the i3 config file and here's just some of the uh, some of the points he wants to make about it. Advantages over i3 window manager and i3 gaps. No bloated or unused feature features. Easy to use config. Only 88 kilobytes after compiled and stripped, and it's designed for me. It's designed for me. <laughs> Indeed it is. Let me show you the config file, which I already have pulled up also. And let's see. Now I've done just very minimal. How do you... I'm not used to using Genie. Let's see, how do you change the font? Here we go. I want to make it a little larger so it's just a little easier for you to see. All right. Here's just your basics where you, you set your gap width, border width of your window, so forth. I haven't messed with any of this yet. Spawning rules uh, where you can assign an application to a specific workspace. Now, this is his example config file. So if you see any of this stuff on here and you're wondering, why in the world is Dan using popcorn dime? <laughs> Not that I've ever used popcorn time. <laughs> I may have in the past, I don't know. No, these are just here for examples. This is an example config that he provides. And here's floating rules. All these are uh, now simple screen recorder is floating. Since I'm using it, it did work. Um, let's try to change this because you can actually change 
or reset everything while you're running live. So let me open up. This is one change I did make. Uh, he made this was opening up Rofi on, on his config file. Mio accessories. Let's see what that does. Oh dear. Okay, so we want to try to get this to float. Let's see what we can do. I'll come down one line here from the top. Floating, floating. Let's try Mio accessories. That's what I had to do on. I had to name it. Oops. Accessories. I had to name each individual window. I'm going to try that. It may not work. We're going to find out together. And to reset everything, mod shift R. And you can see here Wonderland is reloading the config. So let's try Mio Accessories again. I'm thinking this isn't going to work since it's like i3. And it didn't work. <laughs> so let's try one more thing. Uh, I don't remember the command in i3 to make YAD windows float. I remember I had to capitalize the Y in YAD. I'm just going to try this. See if that'll work. I'm not going to hold my breath. Mio accessories. Oh my word! It <laughs> Oh man, that is so easy. Okay, let's try one other. Um, let's open up Audacious just to see what happens. And that's my Go 67 album playing there. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it, what the command is to kill a window yet. Um, what am I doing? Oh, I want to make <laughs> this float. <laughs> Floating. Why do I keep doing that? Um, audacious. Does it need a capital A? I don't know. We will save it. Reconfigure the system. And try running it again. There it is floating. I don't know why it's so small, but it did float. <laughs> All right. Maybe there's something else. Maybe that needs a small A. I don't know. I'm going to be quiet because I don't know what I'm talking about. I've just now discovered this window manager. All right. So there's where you set floating rules, full uh, full screen rules, prohibit rules, applications that should be prohibited from being launched. Here's where you set your key binds. Of course, you can change any of this. And here's the auto start section. Now, what I did, I commented out you use a semicolon, or is that a colon? You use that character right there <laughs> to comment out. So I commented out all this stuff and just I just added a few things here that I wanted to try to make sure it would work and it's working. Fantastic. So we have a 184 line config file which is pretty small for some window managers. Alright, so I just wanted to let you guys in on that. Again, let me go back to the website here. And this is 
W. M. Derland, or as he says, Wonderland. And I do think this might be a wonderland of fun for someone who wants a, a tiling window manager that's easy to set up, easy to configure. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I, as much as I love Franken Window Manager, man, that thing was a pain getting everything set up. <laughs> Let me go to an empty workspace and I will open up the file manager. Now what you have to do after you build after you build it, you need to go to config and create a WM Durland folder. And all we have in here is that config. Or that's all we have in there right now. You have to copy that config file. There's one in etc. Let me find it. It actually gives you these instructions in the terminal after it finishes building the system. Um, etc. Where am I? There we are. Xdg. and it puts this folder in here and inside here is that example config file and you'll need to copy that <clears throat> into the one that you uh, made the folder for in your dot config uh, folder but that's it it does automatically put a a launcher in user share X sessions so you can choose it from your login screen and he does give a warning if you don't put a config file in that folder you create in the config folder uh, you're just gonna boot into a black screen so keep that in mind I'm really excited about this it looks really easy to set up I like that it has gaps that gaps a little too big for my personal taste but I'll fix that so I just wanted to, I just wanted people to see this. I'm, I'm really amazed. I was kind of looking around at different tile and window managers that are less known. And if you'll notice, this is presently being developed. I mean, three months ago, four, two, he's, he's constantly working on it. So there you go, guys. Wonderland window manager. A tile and window manager similar to i3, but a little bit easier. So you guys have a great uh, rest of the week coming up, and I hope you have a great weekend. Thanks a lot. Take care.